This morning, grand rising, family. Grand rising this morning. Grand rising. We on the other side of Luke Oil, y'all. They put this fence up here. Where before I used to walk through here, but this fence been up. So you can't even cut through here with this fence pan up. But I think at the end of this corner here, you can get through through there, but I ain't going through there. Yeah. Holland Avenue up over there. Right aid, just pizza. All right, y'all. Kind of clean through this alleyway too, y'all. Y'all see that? Ain't nobody been dumping nothing. They cleaned it up real good down here. It's a little opening right here, but I ain't doing all that. They go through the fence and then come out. I just walked around, y'all, this morning. Looking for a trash can, y'all. Got a bag of trash. And I don't just want to litter in these alleyways. Cause they kind of clean, y'all. So I'm gonna hold on to this bag until I find a trash can. Grand rising, son, bro. Grand rising, beloved. I'm gonna hold on to this bag. I don't wanna litter. Urgent care up there. I think I'm gonna come up up. I'm gonna come out up there. Yeah. We got gonna break some news. Some current events from the channel this morning. What y'all think about uh China saying they gonna um they threaten to blow, shoot down Nancy Peloso trash can right here, y'all. They threaten to shoot down Nancy Peloso airplane if she traveled to uh, Taiwan. That's the talk now, y'all. That China said If Nancy Peloso travel to Taiwan, they're gonna do uh they're gonna exercise airplane drills. It's crazy, right? So now that they said that, now China gotta be, as they would say, since they put that out there in the uh universe he most definitely gotta uh stand on the square they were saying because if he don't the other nations gonna think that he's uh he's weak you know what i'm saying once you put that out there in the universe and you don't follow up with it other nations across the world Gonna well, look at China as if they weak. So I'm gonna go around. So he most definitely put a uh, he most definitely put something out in the universe, y'all, that the other countries is watching now. So they're going to uh, pay attention to see what happens if Nancy Peloso traveled to Taiwan and they're going to do ex airplane exercise drills 
around the airplane. A lot of people saying that they threatened to shoot down her plane if she traveled to Taiwan. Then you got uh, North Korea. I ain't even put the video up about North Korea, what they was talking about. Cause North Korea talking about they ready for whatever. You see what I'm saying? All these other countries, y'all, they want to test out their nuclear weapons, especially North Korea. North Korea, hold on, y'all. They do school and work physical exams over here. No appointments necessary at urgent care. That's why this was the best place they built, man. Cause you can actually come over here and get your uh, physical, your DOT physical too. You most definitely can go over to urgent care and get a uh, DOT physical. But those who don't know what a DOT physical is, it's a, um, it's a physical for your CDLs that you gotta get when you have your CDLs. You gotta have your DOT physical card. And I think that lasts for uh, three years. Your DOT physical. Yeah, I think three years or four, might be three. But you gotta have that with your uh, CDLs when you work. And another thing, if you're not working and you got a CDL, you call out the uh, pen dot and tell them that you're not working. So you don't have to show your uh, DOT physical card every time you re renew your license. Cause that gotta be updated too so they can put it in the computer. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, just joking out here looking at the cars. I don't even wanna This, uh, the pool here, y'all, at Memorial Park. Would've looked nice and clean. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a nice, beautiful day today. Y'all get out and enjoy this weather. It's not gonna be that humid. It's gonna be just right, y'all. But like I was saying, back to the, uh, Nancy Pelosi situation in Taiwan. That's crazy there, y'all. But like I said, North Korea, their president, he talking about, um, he ready for war, y'all. He saying he wanna uh, test out some of his nuclear weapons. I don't know who he making those. Matter of fact, he making the threats to the United States and shit. North Korea. As you know, they've been, they've been testing missiles I'm gonna go this way, y'all. They've been testing missiles left and right, y'all. So now he making threats that if it comes down to the come down, that he's ready to let some nuclear missiles go towards the uh, United States and shit, y'all. So. It's crazy. I got this book. It's the basketball course. I got this book, y'all. You know what I mean? By the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. It's called The Fall of America and shit, right? And y'all can get the book. You know what I'm saying? You can go on Amazon and get the book. Or wherever you get your books from. It's called the fall of America, man. He talks about all this shit. And this was back in the, uh, the late 60s or the 70s. He talked about the fall of America and shit. And it's that book deep, y'all. Because I'm reading through the book and the shit that's happening now, like all these other nations is against America now. Like America get out of our countries and don't know other 
country when America in their country and shit like that, y'all. It's crazy. Especially the, uh, the Arab world and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when Joe Biden went over there to Sudan and they ain't shake hands and shit. I did the video on it and showed y'all that they did the fist dab and shit. But any other country that go over to Sudan and meet with the prince, Prince Muhammad, that they, they shake hands. Like they, they grab each other, high five each other, give each other the shoulder, the, the grab, pull in, the hug joint. But when it comes to America, it's like they just dab them up. Just the entrance to the pool here, y'all. The more you park, the more you park pool. And I was like, damn. But like I said, back to that book, The Fall of America, y'all. And it's like every country is trying to uh, test America out now, y'all. Like they wanna, they wanna be the most powerful country in the world. At one point, America was the most powerful country in the world, y'all. Other countries was looking at America like the same way we look at North Korea. That's how these other countries was looking at us, y'all. Because we had military, our military is fucking awesome, y'all, but with a whole lot of and I ain't gonna play the blame game, but as far as what I seen out my eyes, I'm only talking on what I seen. With this administration that came in and took office, it's like these other countries now and it's like, look, America kinda at their weakest point right now. So it's kinda like they can take advantage of us because we seen uh, what happened in Afghanistan when they uh, departed Afghanistan, they left all billions of weapons there, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They most definitely, most definitely left billions of weapons in Afghanistan when they departed from Afghanistan. And then, like I said, they let a lot of those refugees from Afghanistan board them planes and they was flying them in by the hundreds, y'all, to America right this ain't nothing i'm making up it was it was broadcast it was seen all across the world you know what i'm saying and that was a weak move on the chessboard y'all that most definitely was a weak move because we don't know who these people are that's in our countries y'all you know what i'm saying remember 9 11 Ata, what's his name Ata and them that flew them flew them planes into the Empire State Building, man. You see what I'm saying? And the same deal that happened, like I said, when they let all these foreigners come in from all these different countries, y'all. We don't know who in our country right now. And, and someone did say, prepare for another line 11. So when they tell you something, y'all, like when you meet a person and they show you who they are, Pay attention to that shit, y'all. And that's a fact. Pay attention to it, because they showing you who they are. Right? So when the, when they say it's going to be another 9-11 attack, coming, it's like, I, I, pay, I pay attention to that shit. I take heed to that shit because we don't know who's in our country right now. And that, like I said, at the Mexican border, them jokers still crossing that border every day. Hundreds of people crossing the border every day, y'all. Know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm paying attention to the next 9-11. I just don't know where it's gonna happen. Like I said, our infrastructure, and I'm talking about the bridges and all that shit, we gotta pay attention to the bridges. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely gotta pay attention to the bridges and all types of shit, y'all. Large crowds. 
They say it's happening inside of America with these mass shootings and all that. But like I said, them mass shootings that's going on in the world, that's kindergarten shit compared to what these foreigners from Afghanistan, Iran, what they gonna do. Know what I'm saying? But I'm noticing a lot of states is exercising uh, mass casualty drills, mass casualty drills and shit like that. I think they had one up Philly. And now I'm saying around the uh, Navy base where they was exercising those um, them drills and shit. Like if it was a real another 9-11 or something that took place, they preparing for it. And that's a fact. That's a fact, y'all. I think even in Taiwan, they was exercising a drill just in case China attacked them. And everybody had to report to the subway. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had to report to the subway. I was like, oh, snaps. But they most definitely exercising drills just in case another 9-11 happened. And that situation with Taiwan and Nancy Pelosi, why is she going over there anyway, y'all? See what I'm saying? This administration stick their nose in everybody else's business, but can't stick their nose in America business. Especially what's going on in Kentucky. That flood that happened, y'all. Y'all seeing that? In Kentucky. That flood. That, ru that ruined piles of buildings. Know what I'm saying? Ruined piles of buildings, y'all. And that's a fact. I was like, wow. That flood in Kentucky, y'all. That's a major sheet. That's some major shit, y'all. So I wonder what the Biden administration gonna do about that. And I don't mean to jump all over the place. Let me get back to the weapons that America left in Afghanistan when they uh, departed, right? And then not only that, they've been send sending billions of weapons to Ukraine. Know what I'm saying? They've been sending billions of weapons to Ukraine. And that's a fact. So our military structure right now is at its weakest. And North Korea know that. North Korea been paying attention. So that's why they wanna, you know, leap out the window and say we ready for war with United States right now. Because they know something that we don't know. And I think I'm gonna post that video what North Korea talking about. You know what I'm saying? So y'all see what I'm talking about. That I ain't just making it up and fabricating it. It's the truth, y'all. Because they know America's at its weakest point right now. Well, weak is leadership. The leadership in America right now is weak. You know what I'm saying? 
and these other foreign countries, like they can't even help their own peoples. You know what I'm saying? That's in America. And America is suffering. But they're going to come out again. Which y'all know what, what. Trying to get people to line up to take. You know what I'm saying? It's a mind thing in America, y'all. Control. But y'all can't go into, into these other countries and control nothing. And it leads back to the fall of America. The book I was telling y'all about by Elijah Muhammad, man. That book is deep. And all the shit that's, that he talks about in that book is happening now and across, around the world. There ain't nobody friends with America but these other weak countries. As far as like Taiwan, Ukraine, they can't do nothing for us, y'all. We send billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine. But when it comes to other countries looking out for us, sending our people's money and things of that nature, they don't do it. And that's a fact. That's a big fact, y'all. But I just wanted to come out this morning and talk to the family about what's going on in the world, about trying to threaten, uh, shoot down Nancy Peloso plane if she traveled to Taiwan. That's another war that we can't even afford right now. Know what I'm saying? Especially if uh, North if if North Korea decide to bust a move, it's most definitely the fall of America. All guns is pointed at America, and then not only that, your boy. Uh, that got killed in Iran from America. Remember, they was burning American flags and shit. So who's to say that those foreigners are not already here, waiting to bust a move? Know what I'm saying? And then another thing they saying, you can catch that thing, the 19 from food, who we getting our food supply from in the whole nine yards, y'all. And that's a fact. But I wanted to look at this wall right here where the siding of this crib. I guess the last storm we had fell off right here. On the side of the script, that little rainstorm we had cracked the uh, siding on the script. Right here. That's crazy there, y'all. That mean water must have got up underneath that and buckled that. That's the only way I can see that. That water must have been creeping down through the sides of it and buckled it out away from the wall. And then when that little rainstorm came through, it knocked that siding off. It's crazy. So that means the more rain we get, the more damage it's gonna do to that siding here, y'all. This on Third Street, y'all. Third and Palmer. Know what I'm saying? That's uh, something wrong. Did y'all see that? See it clear now. Yep, I just wanted to get that.
before I wrap the video up. But with that man said, y'all, until the next time, pay attention to what's going around in the world, the real world, y'all. Stop getting caught up in that social media foolishness. Because that's all that is. That's a... That social media shit is like a distraction. A big distraction, y'all. And you don't want to get caught up in that bullshit. People coming up on them social media platforms, naked, down there naked, no clothes on, and things like that. And, and it's like, it's, it's, it's like blinding, y'all. To what's really going on in the real world. Monkey pox on the rise. And all types of uh, stuff, y'all. Just be, be very, very, very vigilant of what's going on in the real world, y'all. The real, be very vigilant. And if you can, grab that book, The Fall of America, by Elijah Muhammad. And with that being said, until the next time, y'all, I'm about to jump on my scooter and take a ride over town. So I'm gonna do a video on that and finish talking to the peoples. All right, peace.